sorry, that's not a short video. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you now have a feel for Fujitsu's history and the approach. Uh, so now I'd like to explain some of Fujitsu's latest activities. <laughs> we are developing the next generation supercomputer with the Riken Institute in Japan. It's called the K-Computer. Our target is to have 10 petaflops by 2012. Such HPC developments enable advanced simulation, better manufacturing design, new medical treatments, disaster prevention, and broad research into science and technology. Uh, this is a figure of the heart simulation model, but uh, uh, I'm afraid that the people with weak stomach might want to close their eyes. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, please let me uh, continue. <laughs> this heart simulation model took hundreds of days to create. It has exquisite detail produced by highly precise simulations. It shows the individual movement of 660,000 heart cells. Soon, using our supercomputers, such simulation will only take a few hours. The thin lines that appear are the capillaries. This study has resulted in cutting edge and world best visualization of the behavior of the aortic valve. <laughs> Further advances will allow simulation of every part of the human body. Forecasting the effects and side effects of new medical treatments before they are used will be possible. Supercomputer will enable the realization of such expectations. JAXA, Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency, launched an asteroid probe named Hayabusa or Peregrine in English seven years ago. It safely completed its seven year, four billion mile mission and returned to us this June. As is the case with many leading edge exploration, it wasn't all, safe, smooth, uh, all smooth sailing. To cut a long story short, it basically got lost due to engine trouble. The orbit determination system developed by Fujitsu and JAXA was able to relocate it. The ability to always know its current location and speed was essential in executing detailed trajectory control. JAXA saw it as fundamental to the probe's success, a success that will remain in the history of space development. We, in turn, are delighted with the success of our collaboration with JAXA and the great results it achieved. We are also moving the uh, power of ICT into areas where it has never been used before. Agricultural innovation is an example. Here in the United States, a remote sensing management of vast farmlands may seem natural. But our approach also covers knowledge management by providing information on how to farm, what works, climate, soils, etc. We also use sensors to visualize not just the real-time environment, but also the farm work, work habits, and the productivity data. The result is better quality with higher productivity, meaning much lower cost. Technologies, people, and platforms support our various efforts. Whatever drastic improvements will come in the ICT in achieving a human-centric future, we are convinced that high performance and high reliability in platforms is fundamental. Our partnership with Oracle is therefore vitally important in realizing the intelligent society. This leads us into the history of business collaboration with Oracle and Sun Microsystems and our future. 